each of these features will attract a Pogono five. A lashes, B dimples, C beds, D ears. Come again, please. Which of these features will attract a Pogono five? A lashes, B dimples, C beds, D ears. Uh, Any idea? <laughs> no idea, bro. Oh, God. All right, no, no problem. Why are you whispering? Say it loud. Do you know it? Do I know it? Are you sure? Are you asking? Are you asking? Sure are you sure of the answer? I, am I sure of the answer? Yes. Oh, I want to I, ask you. I didn't realize we switched positions and you are now the host. Alicia Keys was the right answer. You have 250,000 back. presents Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Series 2. Welcome to the show that lives somewhere between education, adorned with a tapestry of full-bodied entertainment, with drama palpitating hearts with an addictive frenzy. In other words, welcome to a thrilling production by Black Hut. This is the momentous Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Series 2, The Rebirth, and today we are clamoring once again for a 20 million naira win. Enough of the raving and let's get down to the paving of the way to a spectacular win with a continuation from last week. Here's Chidozie Ezezwe. Back from last week, Chidozie Ezezwe is a computer science graduate, and he decided to go into the trading of solar panels. And last week, he told us the reason was that solar panels are the future. And he's gone into that business head on. Well, he also went into who wants to be a millionaire head on, and um, he got to a certain point last week. But because of time, we had to roll him over to this particular episode. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling very good. Sir. Very, very good? All right. So where do you think your winnings will take you today? Hopefully millions. <laughs> Hopefully millions. All right. Okay, Chidozie, let's take a look at the money tree from your performance last week. I understand you have six more questions to go. You used 50-50 and ask the host. They're left with phone a friend. Mm -hmm. We have six more questions to go to get to 20 million naira. So I wish you well. I wish okay. you good luck. Thank you very much. All right. So... Let's not waste time, shall we? Let's get into the game. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Question 10, Chidozie. This is for 500,000 Naira. Good luck. Thank you. The city of Lisbon is popularly known for which of these monuments? Wailing Wall. Bellum Tower, Eiffel Tower, Tower Bridge, the city of Lisbon. It's probably known for which of these monuments. Do you have any idea? Well, I'm thinking Tower Bridge. Okay. Because I know Eiffel Tower is in France. Yeah, Paris. Okay. And the Wailing Wall. Where's the Wailing Wall? I know the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is in Asia. Is that what? The Wailing, Great Wall of China is in Great Wall of China is in uh, Asia. Uh -huh. But the Wailing Wall, I don't know if it's within Asia or in Europe. Okay. Because Lisbon is in Portugal, right? Okay, know. Lisbon is where? So. Do you think you, if you can't decipher what it is, do you think you have a friend that could tell you the answer to this? I will phone a friend. Oh, phone a friend. Yes. What's the name of your friend? Faith. Faith. 
Okay. All right. Let's uh, put faith on the line, please, shall we? Uh... Hello, Faith. Frank. Yeah, hi. Hi, Faith. This is Frank from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Faith. Okay, that's good. Um, Chudas here is here, your friend, and he wants you to answer a question for him. Okay. If you get it right, he wins 500,000 naira. Wow. Okay, so um, he'll ask you a question, and he'll ask you to choose what option you think is the right answer and how sure you are, okay? All right, the next voice you hear shall be that of Chido. Chido, good, good luck. The time starts now. Fades. The city of Lisbon is popularly known for which of these monuments? Wailing Wall, Berlin Tower, Eiffel Tower, Tower Bridge. Lisbon. Um, please, can I repeat the options? Wailing Wall, Berlin Tower, Eiffel Tower, Tower Bridge. It's popularly known for which of these? I, my mind is saying um, Berlin, but I think Berlin is related to Germany, so I'm not sure. But B. So I'm left with. But you know you can walk away if. Um... I know I can walk away. All right. I just I'm hoping if I can decipher this. Okay. I know Eiffel Tower is out. Mm -hmm. Belem, the E with. Hmm? I don't. Pop, it's Lisbon. I don't. I don't think they are used for the E with the apostle for it. You don't think they have it's that a, E in their yeah, language? Yeah. Oh so wow. Left is William Wall and Tower Bridge. Oh. Okay. If you give me a wrong answer, you're going to lose 220,000 naira. Yeah. You go back to 30,000. But if it's the right answer, you'll gain 250,000 naira, making it 500,000. Well, if you want to walk away, you can walk away with 250,000 naira. It's up to you. You walk away? I don't want to risk it. You don't want to risk it? Yes. Okay. Is this your final answer, the walk away? Yes, final answer. Walk final away. answer, walk away. Very good, very, very good. All right. Now, because you didn't want to take a risk... Yes. You have 250,000 naira. That is intact. Mm -hmm. But now, let's look at the question. What is the option that would have appealed to you if you wanted to actually try? Wailing has to do with crying. Wailing has to do with a lot of crying. Yeah, the same so, crying that would have happened to you if you got it wrong. I don't think a terrible thing happened in Lisbon that made for Wailing Wall to be the answer. Oh, so are you saying that wherever this Wailing Wall is situated, that means there was a lot of weeping, wailing, and national exactly. sleep there? Okay. So, if I was left with, I would go for Tower Bridge. Definitely Tower Bridge. You know, you are doing this calculation. The way you calculated Greta Thunberg <laughs> last week by saying Thunder is in her name, so that means she's a climate activist. Yeah. The same way you're saying Wailing Tower and um, that... Eiffel for Eiffel is definitely in Paris, France. Yes, Paris. The Belém, I don't think... Okay, you don't think so. So that. you would have gone for what? Tower Bridge. Definitely. Tower Bridge. All right. Tower Bridge, final answer. Now, if you went for Tower Bridge... It would have been wrong. The answer actually is Bellem Tower. Bellem Tower. Yes, yes, Bellem Tower. Okay. I think Tower Bridge is in. Ah, let me not go and kill myself or before I go. I think Tower Bridge is in. Is that not London? Is that not London? That's London. Yeah, Tower Bridge is in London. Tower Bridge, London. Eiffel Tower I, is in Paris, like you I said. I use the, the London Eye for London. London Eye. Yeah, but there are other monuments in London, like the, you know. The London Eye, then you have the Big Ben. I think they've changed the name of the Big Ben. You have Westminster, you know. You have a lot of monuments in, in, in London. So, you know, river, the River Thames. They say the Wailing Wall is in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Yeah. I know. There has to, definitely... You know, there has to be a lot of crying definitely... associated yeah. with it. <laughs>
Okay. Well, it was wise of you because if you gave me that answer and you tried it, you would have gone to 30,000 Naira. But because of your inkling and knowing that you didn't want to take a risk, you have 250,000 Naira. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Now, um, uh, how I'm going to give you the money is quite simple. Hope PSB. We're going to open a Hope PSB digital account for you. Inside, that money will be there. And you can run that account as you deem fit. There's so many benefits of doing that. Okay? Okay, sir. All right. So, thank you enormously. All right. Now, you can participate this week's question by dialing star 569 hash or star 7006 star 20 hash and follow the instructions. To get a chance to play in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, visit the website at www.millionairenijad.com and follow the instructions, terms and conditions apply. You can also visit our social media handles at Millionaire Naija on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and of course TikTok. Okay, so Chidazio goes away with 250,000 Naira. And that was a very, very wise thing to do because uh, he didn't want to invest in a risky venture. It shows how his business acumen is in his solar panel business. Good luck to him. All right, now it's time for us to introduce you to a new set of contestants. But before we do that, let's take a commercial break. And when we're back for the second part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Series 2, new contestants abound. Stay with us. Come with me. At UP, we have been innovating payment services since 1997, helping you meet your lifestyle needs and supporting businesses and partners through different services. FinTech, banking, e-commerce, payment solutions, merchant services, agency services, and revenue collections. UP, innovations that work for you. Innovations that work for you. Um, good afternoon, ma. I need um, Cameroon pepper. And um, anything more you think I can use for... Um... Fine boy, what's your number? Make and receive payments with just phone number with Pay Attitude. To get started, dial star 569 hash or download the Pay Attitude app or use the USSD code of Pay Attitude Banks to enjoy seamless transactions. Here you go. So, what's your number? Pay Attitude. Be all of you. You don't wait for life. You go to meet life. It's not about how many chances you get. It's what you do with what you've got. Cup after cup. Morning after morning. Start strong. Finish strong. It all starts with a Nescafe. I love to look at these, but honestly, I prefer to see this. I love how my work brings families together. What was just a dining table in the showroom is a bonding experience for them. I love how we help you find the perfect furniture that matches your dream. Furniture that can be with you at the beginning of every new journey and stay with you through every phase. There is a Vava for everyone. Okay, so it's time for the new contestants for this episode. They are here, and if they want me to get on with the action, I will. All right, without wasting time, here are your contestants. Maxwell from Ojudu Bega. Oluwa Shegun from Ojudu Bega also. Kenechuku from Newi. Chijoke from Enugu. 
Ovi from Maryland. Victor from Port Harcourt. All right, so now let's play fastest finger first. All right, so um, it is a question that will be given to you with options, and you are to answer and give us the right order. The fastest person to give us that right order will play next. So good luck to you, gentlemen. All right, here's the next question. Starting with the largest, arrange these celestial bodies of the solar system in the right order. Earth, Jupiter, Sun, Moon. From the largest. Oh, wow. Okay, let's uh, find out uh, the order of celestial bodies. Let's find out the right order first. The question is, starting with the largest, arrange these celestial bodies of the solar system in the right order. We have the sun, which is, wow, well, blazing. Then Jupiter, which is a large planet. Then Earth. And of course, the moon, which is a satellite to the Earth. That's C-B-A-D. Now, who got it right and who was right? Fastest, let's see. All right, two. But Chicho K was the fastest person. And he makes his way so that he can play. Chicho K, how do you do? Very well, thank you. You want to play? Yes, I do. Let's roll. Okay, so I have uh, Chijoke Ezuma. He is here, a systems engineer from NAMA, which happens to be the Nigerian Airspace Management Agency. And you guys, I feel I attribute uh, the airspace safety to you guys because you ensure that planes land safely and uh, you give them the permission to take off. That's the protocol involved. And other technical things that I know you people handle behind the scenes. Yeah, thank you for your work. Thank you very much. All right. So, um, yes, I've always wanted to ask somebody in that industry now that you are like an insider in the aviation industry, when you want to travel, do you feel safer? Because there are some things you know that laymen don't. And when they feel a little turbulence, they get scared. Do you keep calm? Very calm. Very calm. Very calm. Oh, wow. Absolutely safe. The fact that you studied computer... You, what, what did you study? Your Compu first degree? Computer engineering. Computer engineering. Then after you went into uh, electronics, Electrical, electrical electronics, electronics. Masters. Oh, okay, masters. Are you going to further? Yes, of course. So what are you going what's going to be that? I would um go into cyber security. Oh, cyber security. Oh wow, wow. That's that would be a, a lethal combination and very yes. good. Okay, you have fifteen questions. You are going to fly from question one all the way to fifteen and you win and you amass your fortune from five thousand to 20 million naira. Okay. So you have guaranteed levels at question 5 and 10. So if you give me a wrong answer, you go back to the previous guaranteed level winnings. But if you haven't reached any guaranteed level, you go with nothing. But that's not likely to happen. You can walk away anytime you like with what you've won so far, though. You have three lifelines. 50-50, where you delete two incorrect answers and leave you the correct answer and one remaining wrong answer. Phone a friend will contact your friend by video call so that they can give you what they think is the right answer and ask the host. You can always ask me to help you out, you know. And with the combination of all that, we hope that that configuration will get you up to 20 million naira. Hopefully. Hopefully. What are you going to do with your prize money? I will take care of my studies. Okay, your studies? Definitely. All right, okay. okay. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question number one, Chicho K. This is for 5,000 Naira. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. A portable notebook-sized computer is commonly called a what? Laptop. Lapdown. Lapside. 
laptop. 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 That is the correct answer. You have 5,000 naira. Would have been tragic if a computer engineer didn't know what to answer about sure. that. But question two is for 10,000 naira. We proceed. Let's add some winnings to what you want so far. The home utensil used to cook food is called a what? Cup, tub, pot, plate. Pot. Pot. And that is right. You have 10,000 naira. Pot is used for cooking. Question number three. 15,000 naira at stake here. A radio navigation system used to determine an exact location is called what? Jam. GPS. YEC. IELTS. GPS. GPS. That's 15,000 naira for you. Well done. Global Positioning System is a radio navigation system used in land, sea, and air to determine the exact location. Question number four. Let's see this one for 20,000 naira. What is sometimes referred to as the good book? Novel. Encyclopedia. Dictionary. Bible. The Bible. The Bible is the good book. It's right. You have 20,000 naira. And the first guaranteed level is here for some of 30,000 naira. If you get this right, you win no less than that this evening. Question five. Henry Ford started the mass production of what? Beer. Shirts. Alcohol. Cars. Cars. Cars and cars. You've driven yourself to a 30,000 Naira win. Well done. Well done. So, now, in all your years of working at NAMA, have you experienced any near emergency situation? Yes. Oh. So, um, was it like an almost tragedy or...? Yes, it was going to be tra tragic if it wasn't um, handled effectively. Okay, all right. You said you enjoy coding. Are you self-taught? Yes, self-taught. Self-taught? I'm still in the process. Okay, so um, in terms of your CADA in coding, what are you? Are you uh, basic, advanced, intermediate, or advanced? I would put intermediate. Intermediate. Okay, all right. All right, so let me stick to the time that you have to get to 20 million naira. Question six is for 50,000 naira. Remember your lifelines. Anytime you want to use them, you're free to do so. Question six for 50,000 naira. Tour de France is a race in which sport? Skating, surfing, cycling, rowing. Cycling. Cycling. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Final answer, cycling. Tour de France is a race in cycling. You are right. You have 50,000 Naira. It's an annual men's multi, multiple stage bicycle race, primarily held in France, which also occasionally passing through nearby countries. All right, question seven for 100,000 Naira. Isn't this easy? It is not. It is not easy. It's not. Wow, you have a funny way of showing that a question is not easy <laughs> by answering very fast. All right, question seven. Here is another not easy question, and you're going to answer fast. Question seven, here it is. Good luck. In the TV series Game of Thrones, the character Lord Baelish was popularly known as what? And a smile appears on his face. Drogon. Littlefinger. Night King. 
devils. There comes the hard one. Oh! Haven't you seen Game of Thrones? I have, but I wasn't really a fan. I saw Don't the... say that in public. You'll get lynched. True. <laughs> okay. So you have lifelines. You have 50-50, phone a friend, and you have us, the host. What are you going to do? I, um, I know we should be the Night King, if I remember correctly. But I'm not certain. And uh, I have to just do the, the right thing here. 50-50, phone a friend, or ask me? I'll ask the host. You'll ask the host. Okay. Here's what I think. In the TV series Game of Thrones, the character Lord Baelish was popularly known as what? Drogon was the name of a dragon. So, not Lord Baelish. The Night King. We knew him as the Night King. We didn't know him as any other thing apart your worst night, apart from maybe your worst nightmare or a frightful sight to behold. So it wasn't Night King. Sir Davos wasn't Lord Baelish. Little Finger, now that was Lord Baelish. Lord Baelish was popular because he used to scheme and scheme and get in everybody's good graces. Then you go to your enemy make friends with your enemy, come back to you, make friends with you, and he did that, he succeeded until a certain point. So, Littlefinger, I am 100% sure. Is he the That's brief... my final answer. Is he what? the brief character? What, sorry? Littlefinger, is he the brief char character? No, no, no. That, that one, that's not, that one was uh, Tyrion Lannister. Okay, that's correct. Yes. So? I'll go with the host. you go with the host? Is that your final answer? Final answer. Final answer, little finger. All right, computer, reveal what the right answer is. Yeah, right. We're correct, little finger, and you've won a hundred thousand. Lord Peter Baelish, properly called little finger, was the master of coin on the small council under King Robert Baratheon and King Joffrey Baratheon. Joffrey was the epitome of wicked. So, very nice, very nice series. Where was the first discovered location of crude oil in Nigeria? Igbobini, Ondo State. Oloibiri, Bielsa State. Eleme, River State. Afikbo, North. A boy in state. Okay. I think we're not a boy in state is out. It's not an oil producing state. Oh. Okay. So it's between option A, B, C. But I'll go with Oloi Biri, Bielsa State. Oloi Biri, Bielsa State. That's your final answer. Yes, my final answer. Final answer. Oloi Bri by Elsa State. I have a feeling that when you looked at it, you wanted to go for Oloi Bri by Elsa State. But you decided to start behaving like the host himself and say, <laughs> oh, you know, this one, I feel it's not, this is out and everything. That's what I suspect highly. You know, it helps me to be certain. It's certain, that's true. Crude oil was discovered in Nigeria in 1956. It wasn't in Afikbo North, a born state. It wasn't in Ibobini, Ondo State. Eleme River State is out of it. Oloibri was the right answer. You have 150,000 Naira. Well done to you. Thank you, sir. Question number nine. For 250,000 Naira, 
You're doing well. You have 50-50 and phone a friend, remember? And question nine, we'll give you a quarter of a million. Let's have a look. I hope it's to your liking. Which of these is the largest freshwater lake in the world? Lake Tanganyika. Lake Superior. Lake Baikal. Lake Michigan. You have 50-50? You have phone a friend. So the key word here is largest fresh water lake. Largest fresh water lake in the world. Oh. I'm not certain. What? I'm not certain. Okay. Of the right answer here. I'm, I'm thinking is between Lake Baikal and Lake Tanganyika. Okay. So to... I would um, use the 50-50. All right, computer, delete two lakes and leave him the correct lake and one remaining long, wrong lake. There's Lake Superior and Lake Baikal. You sa said that it, you thought it was between Lake Tanganyika and Lake Baikal. Yeah. But now... Superior is playing pranks. Superior is superior on your mind. Yeah, it's playing pranks. How long do I have to answer this? Bro, go ahead. It's your yeah. time in the hot seat, so go ahead. My gut says like like by car, but I don't want to be okay. too quick. One of that one of those options will give you two hundred and fifty thousand naira. The other one will drop you to thirty thousand naira. But if you walk away you can ensure 150,000 Naira winnings. It's up to you. Okay. I would um, exhaust my lifeline. Oh, your lifeline. Okay, go ahead. Uh, phone a friend. Who do you? Kende. Who is Kende? She's a friend. Friend, okay. All right, let's uh, call Kane there, please, shall we? Uh... Yeah, my name is Frank Edo from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I have your friend Chijoke. Chijoke is here and he needs your help on a certain question. He will ask you the question and you will tell him what you think the right answer is. And 30 seconds is what it's going to take for your conversation to happen, okay? All right. So the next voice you hear shall be that of Chijoke. Chijoke, good luck. You have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Which of these is the largest freshwater lake in the world? Lake Baikal or Lake Superior? Did you get that? Which of these is the largest freshwater lake in the world? Lake Baikal or Lake Superior? Can you hear me? Oh, oh boy. 
We are faced with options here. So that you walk away with 150,000, or since it's a 50-50 chance of you winning, maybe you take one option, or, but if you give me a wrong answer, it goes back to 30,000 naira. We don't have any more lifelines again. I will go with Lake Baikal. You go with Lake Baikal. Is that your final answer? I'll take the chance. Final answer. Final, final answer, Lake Baikal. It's a way. You have 150,000 naira. You used 50-50. You're left with Lake Superior and Lake Baikal. And Lake... The answer to this question bears the name Lake. <laughs> or is it Superior or Baikal? We'll find out after the commercial break. We'll be back. I be mama promise. If they had promise to send money from town. Promise just open Hope PS Bank account with my phone number. <laughs> with Hope PS Bank, I no need ATM. And promise go pay with a phone number. Open any account with Hope PS Bank. Use phone number for transactions. Dial star 569 star 9 hash. Download Hope Digital app or visit www.hopepsbank.com. They call me easy, all pun intended, because I find the smartest and easiest way to do things. Like operating my account in all my banks with PayAttitude multi-bank app and USSD code. Use a single app and USSD code for your accounts in all banks. Use your phone number at ATM, POS, and web. Easy does it, guys. Download PayAttitude app or dial star 569 hash. Over the last 35 years, Golden Morn has been there with you and for you. Thank you for letting us nourish you and your family with the delicious goodness of homegrown Niger maize and soya. We celebrate you and raise a bowl to even more accomplishments together. Nestle. Good food, good life. You're onto who wants to be a millionaire. I have Chijoke. He's in a hot seat. And he attempted a question called, which of these is the largest freshwater lake in the world? Went for 50-50 and was given the choices, Lake Superior and Lake Baikal. And he decided to go on a leap of faith and choose Lake Baikal. Well, the answer to the question, Lake Superior was actually the right answer. I'm sorry, Lake Baikal wasn't the answer, it was Lake Superior. I'm very, very sorry. Lake Superior is the largest, cleanest, and wildest of all the great lakes. It is the biggest lake in the world. And um, it is also nicknamed the Freshwater Sea where well, you have 30,000 Naira. And I'm so pained because I really wanted you to go up because I needed you to get something back for being one of the factors that save us when we are, when we are flying. And um, now we, we have gone down to 30,000 Naira. But anyway, you came with nothing. 30,000 Naira is something. And you went actually very high, but unfortunately... Um, we have obstacles in life that happen. So, but thank you enormously for coming. I want to say that this money is going to be, the mode of payment is going to be to, um, through a Hope PSB digital account, we're going to open it for you. It is open already, so the money will be deposited there, all right? So I want to say thank you, and I hope you continue, and good luck with your furthering your education. 
Thank you very much. Well, I had so, so much high hopes for Chijoke. Um, well, unfortunately, left with 30,000 naira. 30,000 naira is still more than what he came with. Whatever he came with, 30,000 naira on top, is a good day's job. All right, so it's now time to get more people not to sit in the hot seat to play for 20 million naira. Fastest finger first is upon us. The remaining five have a chance to prevail in the hot seat, all right? But just one of them. So here's another question for options. Please arrange the options in the order that is asked of you. The fastest person to get that order will play next. Here comes the question. Good luck. Arrange the title of this superhero movie in the right order. The of Galaxy Guardians. Okay. This seems familiar. Let's find out the right order of that movie title. It's a superhero movie. Let's find out. Arrange the title of this superhero movie in the right order. So it starts with The Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, so that's D-B-A-C. Uh, it comprises Star-Lord, Gamora, and the rest of them. All right, so let's um, find out who got it right and who was fastest. Uh, three of them, but Olua Shegun was the fastest, and he plays next. Congratulations to Olua Shegun as he makes his way, and we are going to have a great time in the seat. Olua Shegun, how are you doing? Fine, sir. Okay, so you want to play for 20 million? Yeah. All right, let's play. Imagine having a guy for everything. I have a guy that pays for my cable TV, my electricity, and other bills. Thank you. This guy helps my lady with her shopping. This guy helps me verify styles. That guy is Pay Arena, where you can pay for utilities, buy and sell, verify documents and identities. Visit payarena.com or download the Pay Arena app. It's madness only you can understand. Visit myspectre.com to get your Spectre experience. Spectre, loans in five minutes. Okay, so in the hot seat, I have Olua Shegun from Bega, Ojodu Bega, Olua Shegun Affair. And he is here to play for 20 million naira. He's a freelance graphic artist, self-taught. And now he's here to play for 20 million naira. Tell me something, Olua Shegun. I understand that you weren't allowed to watch TV. And you didn't even have much of a social life yeah. when you were younger. Why? Because at first, my... My dad really didn't believe that my childbirth was natural. He kind oh. of believed that there's something biased about it. So that was one of the reasons why I kind of grew up only with the love of my mom. Okay. Yes. So, okay. And friends also, because we Africans most times don't really like those that are actually different okay. in posture okay. from us. 
So, and that was rampart in the square I went through. Oh. So, yeah, so I dropped out a couple of times, primary and secondary. Because of bu bullies, bullying. bullying and um, the rejection. So that's one reason why I dropped out. But yet I still try and make sure that I graduated out of these schools okay. at the time. But it was more of dropping out, going to another one, dropping out, going okay, to okay. another one. Oh, oh, I understand now. But it just so happens that the only, the only TV program you were allowed to watch then was Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah. Oh, wow. Out of all the programs on TV, it's just Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah, because uh, uh, my dad is a clergyman. Okay. So he, he, he do rings in his head that pastor's children are always sport. Right from, <laughs> right from a young age. So, and there's no place you go to and they ask you, who is your dad? And you say, my dad is a clergyman. You, they, this, there's this look that they have. So most of I don't even tell them. Oh. So, but it is from uh, the way I behave that they, they don't even know that, yes, that this is who my father is. But oh. the uh, special treatment is always there. So, but when it comes to the rejection, it has always been like that. It oh. stopped when I got into tertiary institution okay. for the second time. All right. Because I dropped out twice also. In oh, place. okay. So, yeah. Wow. So now you've come full circle. You're here yeah. actually playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I think it's a wonderful story. Yeah. Uh, it's the same thing, same rules. Uh, 15 questions. You win 5 million, uh, 5,000 all the way to 20 million, rather. And um, you have three lifelines. You have 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the host. Okay, so... Without wasting time, let's get into it. I wish you the best of luck because, I mean, someone who watched only who wants to be a millionaire, I'm sure you are poised for success on this show. All right, good luck to you, okay? All right, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? All right, question one is for 5,000 Naira, Luashagun. Good luck to you. Here it is. Which of these is the name of a fruit? Soda melon, oil melon, liquid melon, watermelon. Watermelon. Watermelon, that's the correct answer. You have 5,000 Naira. Question number two is for 10,000, and here it is. What is the sweet food made by bees? Milk. Honey. Yogurt, cheese, honey. Honey is absolutely right. You have 10,000 naira. Okay, question number three for 15,000. Who is popularly known as the king of Afrobeat? Felakuti, Victor Waifo, King Sonia De. Prince Nico Mbarga. Felakuti. Felakuti. That is the right answer. 15,000 Naira, also known as Abamieda. Question four, and this one will give you 20,000 Naira. Well done so far, Luasha. The sisters Serena and Venus Williams are famous for which sport? Volleyball. Tennis. Basketball. Snooker. Tennis. Tennis. Absolutely right. You have 20,000 Naira. And we proceed to the fifth question. It is for a guaranteed level sum of 30,000 Naira. Well done. Good. Well done so far. What is the Spanish Football League called? Serie A. Eredivisie. Bundesliga. La Liga. Syria. You sure? Spanish Football League. You have lifelines. You have 50 50. Phone a friend and ask me. Ask the host. Ask the host. Ask the host? Yeah. Okay. All right. Syria R is the Italian league. Bundesliga, that's the German League. La Liga is actually the Spanish League, and that's my final answer. So, you trust me enough to go with that? 
La Liga. La Liga. Computer, reveal what the right answer is. La Liga is the right answer. You have 30,000 Naira. All right, so you have 10 more questions to go. I learned that... Okay. All right, so um, we've come to the end of the program, but not the end of your journey in the hot seat because... Um, next time who wants to be a millionaire is on the air, you will be the one to start, okay? Yes, I hope that's fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Olua Shegun. You're doing fine. You have 50-50 and phone a friend, and you're 10 correct answers away from 20 million. All right, so good luck next week. With that, we have come to the end of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire tonight. Now, to win some money, on this week's question, all you have to do is dial star 569 hash or star 7006 star 20 hash and follow the instructions. All right. So congratulations to the winners from last week's question. You can watch exciting episodes of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on Sundays by 8.30 p.m. on Africa Magic Showcase, Africa Magic Urban, Africa Magic Family, on TV, STV, and NTA on Mondays by 8 p.m. You can also visit our social media handles at Millionaire Naija on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you enormously for watching. It's been a fabulous edition. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Series 2? rages on we are hunting traversing every nuke and cranny of the nation to find our 20 million naira winner multiple of them so you make sure that you stay locked on and try and play as much as possible to get on and of course attempt the question of the week on a weekly basis and as many times as you can all right, so thank you enormously. And go to our social media handles, like we said earlier, to find out anything, if you have any questions about our series two of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The Rebirth. Thanks to Black Hut and thanks to UP for sponsoring. We'll be back next time with another great edition. Please keep your eyes riveted on the most popular TV game show in Nigeria, period, point blank. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'll see you next time. Good night. Bye-bye.